some student. This video we are trying to work with a practical 2C. I am creating two videos for practical 2C. One will be uh, along with the delegates and event and another along with the exception handling. So let us concentrate about the delegates and events in this video. So practical number 2C, uh, I am just closing the earlier project which has been created by me. And here I am interested in creating a new project with a practical number 2C, a console application only created by me. That's practical 2C. Fine, the project got created now. Now, what has been expected to be done by us in this particular program? We need to demonstrate about the delegates. A dictionary meaning of delegate is a person acting on behalf of another person. Matla proxy attendance. Uskam look kya bolte rahe ba? Delegate bolenge. A person acting on behalf of another person. A method can be identified by another name. Simple. A method can be identified by another name is called as a delegates in C sharp. So let's try to concentrate how to work with a delegates. To work with a delegate, first of all, we need to create a delegate. Uh, what is a delegate? Once again, agar technical bhasha bola jayenge to a delegate is a class present inside a system namespace of a C sharp. So delegate is a class present inside a system namespace of a C sharp. So how to create a delegate is simple. You can provide the creation of delegate. Sorry. You can provide the creation of delegate by providing public delegate. Then return type. Maybe I am providing in. Then the name of delegate. Maybe my maths. In the bracket parameter. So this is how I had declared the delegate. So what it means, my maths is a sealed subclass. Classroom is a sealed subclass. Kya hota? Sealed subclass ka concept Java mein final kar ke. So my maths is a sealed subclass <coughs> of system.delegate class. Enable ignore feature. So my maths is nothing but the sealed subclass of system dot delegate class and object of my maths can refer to all such methods where return type is integer and parameters are to again they are of integer type so karke dikhao chalo yaar ek kaam karte ek class banate hai apna favorite class ek class bana denge test in that maybe i am creating one method called as public in add in text comma int y and here i am just specifying return x plus y. So addition of x and y is with return. I may be again providing public int subtract in the bracket int x comma int y. And here again I am providing return x minus y. Now uh, the method, these are the methods which are non-static method. I will make something as static. Because delegate ko farak bhi nahi padta. Method static hai kya? Non-static hai. Usko chahiye parameters ka data type same hona chahiye. Number of parameters same hona chahiye along with a delegate declaration. So I can say my maths delegate can refer to all such methods where return type is integer and parameter are two again they are of the integer type. So I can say add and subtract can be referred by the my maths delegate object. So I will call this statement which is written over here as delegate declaration. This is termed as what here delegate declaration. These two are called as delegate method definition. Because these methods can be referred by a delegate name called as my maths. Further, inside my main, I am creating an object of a delegate named as my maths. First, I create an object of test by saying test even equal to new test. And now, sorry, I just specify my maths class object. So this is object creation. My maths m1 equal to new my maths in the bracket t1 dot add. Add it on the pass. Your kushta. Add it. Public end add. Okay. T1. Oh, but add I got because add kya static. If you add static, you have to call kesa karna padega. Test dot add. 
and now I am providing my maths m2 equal to new my maths in the bracket t1 dot subtract. Sir, is se kya hoga? Now m1 is referred with the add method, m2 is referred with the subtract method. Ek baar bol deta hu. This is called a delegate declaration. This is termed a delegate method definition. This is called a delegate object creation and binding a method along with a delegate object. And further, I can call the delegate. Maybe I'm writing console dot write line. Here I'm providing m1 10 comma 34. So m1 10 comma 34, it means m1 is what nothing but add method. So ultimately 10 comma 34 is been added and the value as 44 will be displayed to the user. Let's check. So run the program and output will be displayed to you as what you have 44. So zoom karke dikha deta hon, thoda samaj mein aajayega. So ye ho gaya aapka delegate. And when a delegate object can refer to only a single method, just m1 is referring to only add method, m2 is referring to subtract method, then those delegates are termed as single cast delegate. What they are termed as? Single cast delegate. So when a delegate object can refer only a single method, is termed as single cast delegate. But whereas when a delegate object can refer to more than one method, then it is termed as multicast delegate. But important baat hai, multicast delegate may return type ye compulsory void lagta hai. Okay, I may be given the name of this multicast delegate as mcast. <coughs> मैं पैरामीटर चाहिए तो रखो तो मत रखो चलो मैं ऐसे लिख दिया एक स्ट्रिंग पैरामीटर डाल दिया स्ट्रिंग एमएजी एंड हियर आई एम प्लानिंग टू क्रिएट टू मेथड वॉइड एंड डिस्प्ले इनसाइड द सेम क्लास प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट सिंगल कास्ट डेलीगेट अ डेलीगेट ऑब्जेक्ट कैन रेफर टू ओनली वन मेथड मल्टी कास्ट डेलीगेट अ डेलीगेट ऑब्जेक्ट कैन रेफर टू मोर देन वन मेथड राइट बट इंपॉर्टेंट है फॉर मल्टी कास्ट डेलीगेट Return type must be void. Parameter can be any way, anything, but they should not be of an out type. Yeah, then I say by reference, by out and by value. So parameter cannot be of a type called as by out. So chale yahan pe likh diya maine public 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 void show. Mujhe na object banana ka kanta la aata hai, to main dono ko na static banana hai toh. Chale yar public void show string m और यहां पर लिख दिया कंसोल डॉट राइट लाइन अब प्लस एम एंड अगेन आई एम क्रिएटिंग पब्लिक स्टैटिक वाइड मे बी डिस्प्ले स्ट्रिंग एम एंड हियर आई एम ट्राइंग टू प्रोवाइड कंसोल डॉट राइट लाइन मे बी Prepare well. M. Is it good? Okay. Uh, I will Welcome M. And prepare well. Okay. So, I will tell you that I will tell you that I will tell delegate that object will tell you that I will tell you that multi cast delegate. Matlab, kya hota hai? Tera, Now, here I am going to specify M cast. M1 equal to new M cast. In the bracket, the test class show method. Again, I'm writing m cast m2 equal to new m cast. In the bracket, I'm writing test dot display method. Then I'm writing m cast. Abhi dekho maza. M3 equal to m1 plus m1 plus m2 plus m2 plus m1 plus m1. Aise kuch time pass kar liya re. And then I'm just calling m3 m3 students. Right, so I am just passing a message to M3 as student. So when I am calling M3, that means actually first M1 is called, then M1 is called, then M2 is called, then M2 is called, then M1 is called, then M1 is called. M1 मतलब पहले show call होगा, बाद में show call होगा, बाद में display call होगा, बाद में display call होगा, फिर बाद में show call होगा और फिर बाद में वापस एक बार show call होगा. I had run the program and you can very well see what it say. Welcome students, welcome student, prepare well student, prepare well student, welcome student, welcome student. So a single object of delegate can refer to more than one method and that is termed as multicast delegate. So this video is helping us to understand a bit about the 
delegate at least from the practical point of view which is required please remember that core concept need to be very strong but logic need to be very strong that is only been checked as a pressure so prepare well with the core concept as well as the logic thanks a lot students and uh, stay tuned with us and please subscribe the channel